Hi guys, my name is Nathan, or Hayaku, from the Now server. I thought that I would make a video on my favorite game of the end of 2020 and the start of 2021. This is not a review, it's just my opinion, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. So Mabinogi in 2021. I came back to this game after 10 years of believing that the game has died and that it's just been completely killed off. I was wrong. This game is still very much alive. Of course, there is not a gigantic player base such as World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XIV. However, this game for me was like a breath of fresh air at the end of 2020. So I sunk a lot of hours into this game when I was 13 or 14. My sister and I would log on almost every day fighting to get onto this game. It was a blast, but there were so many things I didn't understand. And now with my incredibly disgusting infatuation with anime, I've become super invested in this game. I came back maybe like once every year or so, just to like kind of peek in and see what's going on and like I felt like I would just be way too far behind to like catch up to anybody, but there is some people still starting out again. I mean, there's a lot of like those veteran Mappy players that are still hanging around, you know? And they'll help you out like crazy. So, I don't know. That's what happened to me. So shout out to uh, Frosty from the Now server, from my guild. So with this game, if you can look past the graphics, which in my opinion, it's not that bad for a game that dropped back in 2004. I think you could get into it as well. But yeah, that's if you can look past the graphics. What I really love about the game is that you can be good at one thing, multiple things, everything or nothing, and still have something to be doing. I also love how there's an endless amount of things you can do in this game. Um, I think the slogan for this is the most unique MMORPG, and it's true, I haven't played a game like this at all. You can make yourself a crazy farm, you can make yourself into a giant eyeball, you could be a man running around in his underwear making gourmet meals. And the funny thing is that they almost, or more than likely, have a skill for it. For those who are into anime, this game to refer to one is almost like, I don't know, the game is basically Isekai the video game. You have your main character and you know, you're this bro who could be OP or fucking digging up potatoes. Literally anything you want to do. You can be incredibly skilled in combat but really crappy at life skills and that's the fun thing is that you could be good at everything. And what's important to me is making friends in that process of making yourself OP. The fighting in the game is super fun, at least for me. Um, I find the game learning a new skill or something or learning a new like fighting move, and especially too with having all these different classes, I think that the fighting is the most fun part of the game. It could be repetitive at times, but when you're learning new skills or you're learning like new moves or something, it's always fun and just trying to level up that certain skill is even more fun. This game is a very social game and I think like you could still play the game being antisocial and you can avoid everybody like I did before. I used to play this game very solo but I had the most fun, I still have the most fun playing with my new guild that I have. I really like these people, they have their own discord, they're fun to talk to. I think that I've made friends that I'll probably still keep in contact with if I do ever walk away from this game or just take breaks or something. I think that I made some lifelong friends and it's really nice. Like you could solo a dungeon and you could solo like missions and stuff or quests. I think questing and stuff is the most fun part of the game, again that's my opinion, but when you're running with friends and everything, when it comes to dungeons and missions, it makes it way more fun. What I appreciate too is that it's really easy to make friends. There's a lot of like funny people in this game. Um, I made friends with this guy because he was playing his his lyre, 
and then I took out mine and I started playing like initial D music and he joined in so I don't know and then now I still talk to the guy so it's pretty funny <laughs> when he's died I think so I didn't want to make this video too long so the main points I want you to take away from this video is the game dead no can you get into the game if you can look past the graphics yes Will I ever run out of stuff to do? Probably not, unless you haven't found anybody in the game to talk to, maxed out all of your skills, completed all the mainstream quests and side quests. Again, probably not. Should you play it in 2021? That is completely up to you. I made this video again, just as an opinion. You could get into it and you could not. Hell, you could play it for like 10 minutes and realize it's not your thing and that's fine. But. Give it a shot. It's not that bad. I really like it. I personally think it's an amazing game. There's a lot of elements to the game that is a lot of fun. I think that there's elements in the game where even the newer MMORPGs that have come out is still not on par with what Mabinogi has. Again, I'm still learning. There's a lot of things that I don't know, so there is probably a lot of things I didn't mention. With that being said, if I ever find out new stuff, or anything, I'll try and make a video on it. I really like this game and I think that I'll make more content for the game. If you like this video, please show your love by liking or subscribing to me, that would be really awesome. That is all that I have to say and you know what, you guys stay cool, y'all drink your water and eat your broccoli, stay tuned and take care.